We still have a, a bit of more time to squeeze maybe three or four more callers on today's uh, Let the People Talk. There's a question which Mr. Matuma has asked and I feel I have not answered that question. The question was, are you not trying to undermine UPND by taking the Ateya Madjankuku in PF? In PF we take our time. It's more than nine months since Mr. Madjankuku approached us. Comrade Inongewin and several others. We are not trying we are not trying to undermine UPND. It's not our intention our intention to undermine UPND. When you go in the bush, there are trees. And when there are trees, birds decide which tree they are going to stand on. Miss Wina came to us and then Comrade Mlaskwanda went to UPND. People must have the freedom of association. We are not undermining anybody. If Comrade Given Luinda decides he's going to join UPND, we will not stand in his way. He will go and join UPND, but the city in Kabwata belongs to PF. We are going to contest it. You, are, you posed the question if you would have taken over from Levi Manawasa, mm -hmm. what we are going to do? Differently. Yes. What we need is integrity. We must fight for mobility where people will not be taken to ransom. Because at the moment people are taken to ransom because there is no job whether the conditions of service are not good at Radio Phoenix. You have to remain at Radio Phoenix because you can't find a job somewhere else. If the little we have done in both secondary and uh, secondary university is the schools outside Zambia. Those who have managed to send their children abroad to go and learn ab abroad. But what we need to do, for example, if we improve our health condition in Zambia, we will make lots of money from people who will be coming from Malawi, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, Congo, Angola, and Mozambique. If we improved our schools, for example, we have, we have had a number of people, the freedom, freedom fighters, freedom fighters from Zimbabwe and South Africa, who went to the University of Zambia. Now, if we had more than one university, if you had more than one university, because like in South Africa, there are two categories. If you are South African, you pay less. If you are a foreigner, you pay more. And even here, we can do that. Too. When people, you see, in the villages, they want to go to cultivate, you can't give them the inputs. In town, you have a number of young people. Previously, they used to come, stay with their relatives, go and look for employment. But today now, they cannot look for any employment anywhere else. And what we need as a country, the document which we are fighting for, so-called constitution, it must be a document which will provide protection to an individual. At the moment, we have no protection. If you don't have money, you die. For example, Michael Sata, Frederick Chiluba, Katere Kalumba, without taxpayers' money, would not be here, would be dead. I was sent to South Africa. I was sent to South Africa unconscious. Now, 45 years of independence, South Africa became independent after us. We know what is required. And if we know what is required, why should we continue? We come from the core belt to go to South Africa for medical treatment. Now, where they are now, they don't want us in South Africa. Now we are going to India. My brother, Lete Tomashimba, was sent back from South Africa before he was cured. Now, these are things which we must look at. Don't, because when you are talking of a degree, I was Minister of Health, full of educated people. I listened to what the educated people wanted. I left that ministry very sound. I was Minister of Local Government. I was there with educated people. I listened to them.